Right, grade fours. Today's section that we need to study is NST, and we're looking at functions of a plant. So, first of all, you need to know these six definitions. It's a nice, easy section. You basically need to know what the point of the root is, the stem, the leaf, the seed, the fruit, and the flower, what those do, and how it helps the plant. So, let's look at each one. First of all, we're going to be looking at the roots and the stem. Now, in each little section that I go through now, I'm going to give you the reason why the roots and the stem, for instance, are important, but I'm also going to give you a little clue so that when you're sitting in an exam and your teacher says to you, please label um, this picture of a plant and explain to me why the stem is important. That's one way that you could ask you. I want you to have that little clue picture in your head and hopefully that will spark the little definition that I'm giving you now. So, for instance, the root holds the plant in the soil. It absorbs the water and the minerals. So when you think of the root, I want you to think of an anchor. Okay, it anchors it into the soil. It makes sure that the root doesn't, the plant doesn't fall over, doesn't get blown away. It anchors it in the soil. And then while it's in the soil, it obviously takes in all the nutrients and all the water and the minerals from the soil that help feed the plant. Remember your Mrs. Gren, the nutrition from Mrs. Gren, one of the life processes. So when we think of roots, we think of the anchor. Right, then we move on to the stem. And the stem keeps the plant upright. It supports the leaves, the buds, and the flowers. Now, I want you to think of a little highway. The stem keeps the plant upright, and obviously the leaves are attached to it and everything else. But also, the stem is very important because it takes those minerals and those nutrients from the roots, and it travels up the stem like a little highway. So you've got all the nutrients and the water traveling up and down the stem. So when I think of roots, I think of an anchor, and when I think of the stem, I think of a highway. Then we move on to the leaves and the flower. Now the leaves, are they use sunlight to make food for the plant. It's a little factory, okay? Those minerals and those nutrients that came down from the roots, the anchor, along the highway, the stem, go to the leaves. And with the help of the sunlight, and very complicated processes you'll learn about in grade five, it makes food for the plant and exactly what the plant needs. And it actually gives off oxygen through the leaves, through little holes like pores in the leaves. So your leaf is like a factory. Then we've got the flower. And I've got a little picture of a whistle there because the flower is there to attract all the birds and the bees. They often smell good or they have bright colors and it attracts insects and birds. And that's often what helps the plants to reproduce. And remember, reproduction is one of the life processes from Mrs. Gwen as well. So it's like a whistle. It's calling all the insects to come and have a look. And in the picture on the screen, you can see a bee on the flower. Now what happens is that bee sits on the flower, picks up some, picks up some pollen, goes to the next flower, drops the pollen off, and that's how the flowers actually reproduce. So in this picture, the leaves are the little factory where it makes all the food for the plant, and the flower is like, or well, the petals especially, is like a whistle saying, come insects, come to me, help me reproduce. Next two we're looking at are the fruit and the seeds. Now I've got a little lock and a key for the fruit because the fruit forms around a seed and it protects the seed, so it locks the seed in, okay? And it keeps the seed from harm until it's ready to be planted. So I've got a little lock. Imagine that the fruit is locked around the seed to protect it. And then the seed, I've got a little baby because the seed is basically the new plant that can be planted. So it's the part of a flowering plant plant that grows into a new plant. It's like a little baby plant. So I've got a picture of a baby there. So when we think of the structure of a plant and the functions, we think of the root, and remember our little clue there is the anchor, holds it in the soil. We think of the stem, that's the highway where all the nutrients travel up and down and everything is attached to it. We think of the leaf, that's like a factory, makes all the food for the plant. We think of the flower, which is like a whistle to attract all the insects to come and help it reproduce. We think of the fruit that's like a lock, locking the seed in and protecting it. And then we think of a seed, which is like a little baby, because it's going to help us create a new plant when we plant it. Every single part of the plant has a reason to be there. Now, you need to know that your teacher might ask you in many different ways. She could give you a picture of the plant and ask you to label it. She could ask you to draw the plant yourself and ask you to label it. Or she could say, why is the stem important? And then you need to explain why. Remember my little clues, the highway and the lock and the baby and things like that are just clues. You can't say to your teacher, the stem is the highway of the plant. She won't know what you're talking about. It's just the clue to help you visualize what the, that part actually does. Good luck.